Hello there, this is Kimfonia, and in this video I'll be showing you how to use Substance Textures in 3D Max. And in the second part of this video, I'll be showing you how to use, um, how to create normal maps um, from your 2D textures. Okay, let's get started. I'll start with a cube here. And just go to your rendering. Uh, Material Editor, select Slate Material, or you could just hit M on your keyboard, Modes, Slate Material Editor. Okay, what I like to do here is, under Materials, just grab Standard, under Maps, grab Substance. Okay, it's been there all along, by the way. Uh, it doesn't matter if you have a Substance Designer or not. So just double click that and load substance. You it comes with this preset noise in textures here. I'll just grab one texture here. So checker. And just grab this diffuse node, plug it into diffuse color, and normal, plug it into bump map. I, I usually don't use others. You could always plug them if you need them. So just double click this, go to maps. I usually set the bump map to 100, hit enter and select this and select the model you want to assign it to and hit assign material to selection. That did not show up. Oh yeah and show shaded material in viewport. Okay we can now see that but even if we, if we render it what we see uh, in the rendered window is different from the one in the viewport. So to fix that, just go to realistic, click on that, then select material, select realistic materials with maps. And now you could you could see the normal maps in your viewport too. Okay? So that's that's looking really good. It's it's nice to have that in there. So even if you don't have Substance Designer, you could always buy or download Substance textures from Substance Share here and be able to use them. So the downside to this is you cannot actually export the the FBX model with the substance maps embedded in it. You know, like most of the maps in here you cannot export an FBX max with some like this gradient map in it. So you usually go the normal route to render to texture zero and you know how it's done so render select the material make sure you select add a diffuse map normal and diffuse map add change the size for them if you want to change the size select the file name maybe png or so and render that's it so it's just gonna come out as a texture and you can also put that back in your you could put that back in the materials and actually render them as bitmaps too all right so okay there's I have a scene here a few models so on hide all let's explore some more stuff here so, so I'll go back select substance and under this checker dot sbsar file I could select a different texture. We have quite a few textures here. There's a whole lot. So maybe sand and plug this in here. Show selected. It's kind of weird all those trees going out there, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so I mean, all this is really up to you. So whatever you want to show. Ah, oh, shit, that's overkill. It's just normal grass. Let's see, yeah. Alright, and you could always change some more settings here, like random seed. It's gonna play with most of these values. Grass tiling, uh, hue shift, that's gonna make it a different color. That's gonna be really weird now. Uh, and uh, saturation, if you wish depth uh, congest. There's a whole lot of stuff here. You could just play around with it. Uh, let's see what you have. Okay, so the second part of this video, 
is using bitmap to materials. We'll still start with a cube here. Right, so bitmap to materials it works the same, but I think you actually need to have the bitmap to material installed on your computer, or at least have the plugin. So under substance map here, go to load, and my PC wherever you installed your bitmap to material to, mine's right here. Three point oh, and select data and this is it right here okay so what you can actually do with this it's it adds a few uh, inputs in here so I'll just grab a texture I just got this from the internet by the way grab this plug in the main input here okay and that's all you need to do and this assign material to selection all right it shows up so all you need to do now is connect the normals back to the bump here, I think. Yeah. Yeah, and it just shows up. All right. Okay, I think for some reason my diffuse is not showing up as the actual color. I don't know why it is. Oh yeah, this this map is not actually connected. So grab the base color here again and plug it in the diffuse. So that was just hanging out there. It wasn't actually connected. Okay, so yeah, I just brought in a uh, bitmap online, plugged it in the main input, put the base color to the uh, plugged the base color to the diffuse color, linked the normal map to the bump map. Bump map is hundred here, and that's it looking good so that's it for this video uh, if you like this please subscribe my uh, to my channel and share it thank you bye